everyone, it's Lacey. Welcome to Paul's and Papers. So I am here to start a new project today. Um, I am starting this journal and I've done the cover, but I want to go ahead and show you guys we're going to do the whole inside together. So this here I've just stitched around. Um, this was a like a table placemat and I cut it up and then I kind of Franken stitched it back together so that I could have the pieces of color where I wanted the color and stuff and because the bunny was originally on this side and it wouldn't have just naturally folded. So anyway, here's the cover. I've sewed around it. The inside is not done yet. The only thing I've done so far is just attach a piece of like muslin cotton there and I've sewn around the whole book. This is a, a hardcover book and uh so this is just a repurposed hardcovered book. So that's what I've gotten so far on the cover. And I found this paper pad. So I'm going to be using this paper pad with it, Cotton Fields. This paper pad matches this cover so well, I like it was made to go together. So we're going to be using this 12 by 12 paper pad to do the journal. So I have gone ahead the only prep work I have done so far is cut all my pages down to size and um, I've folded them all and I've made three signatures. So this journal is going to have three signatures and each signature I believe has one, six pages, two, three, four, five, five pages, three, four, five, yes, so five pages each. So. Then I have done the centers and all I did to make these centers so this is a, just a 12 by 12 and I folded up the pockets and I've sewn them so now there's like little pockets there and these pieces came in the paper pad. There's one of those sheets of paper in here you know they give you like these pieces so this is in the paper pad and then the other one where's that other one at? the uh here these so all these tags and stuff are in there then too so that's what i've just used to make these so i'm going to use everything in this paper pad for this journal and then the only other weird thing i did was this 12 by 12 here i cut and then i'm going to flip it this way so that we're going to have some interactive type flip here so that's really all my prep work um, but I wanted to kind of go through and then decorate all these pages together with you guys. So today's project is this here. We are going to be making this little layout. And this here is just using, um, so when I cut my paper down, I ended up with all these like off cuts, you know, like the edges. And these are roughly three and a half inches. So they're about like perfect tag size. So I'm trying to use up all these little bits and pieces that I've cut off to make layouts. And this one here is just uh, two tags made into a pocket and a little tag that I've embellished up here with some book page. And then it's just a really pretty scrapbook paper on the back. So this is super easy. That's just a little Edith Holden picture there. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I've actually prepared stuff ahead of time. So these two signatures are going to get. And what I've done is I've picked out the coordinating pieces. So I've tried to make my tag the coordinating piece over here. Like I am like super prepared for this one. So this is kind of how the layout's going to look. Okay. So we're going to just go ahead and I've pre-cut all these and I've inked them. So these are roughly the one, two, three and a half, which was the exact width of the tag that I, the size that I cut off and one, two, three, four and a half. So the big one is three and a half by four and a half. The small one that will go on top of it is the three and a half by one, two, three and a half. So this one's three and a half by three and a half. And then the really big one is three and a half by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Okay. So I didn't cut the side to side because those were just my off cuts. So I made my tag as wide as whatever I cut off. 
from my signature pages if I haven't washed you yet. Okay, so this first one here, so here's the, this is gonna be my middle signature, and this is the page I'm gonna be doing it on. So, I'm, and this is another new concept for me. I am actually um, not binding the, uh, the signatures into the book first. So here I've just inked around, this is the large one. And uh, so I thought it would maybe be kind of fun to, to do it with scrapbook paper and to not sew my signatures in first. So this is gonna be a pocket, so I'm only gluing the two sides. And then that gets stuck down. And I'm going just a, maybe, maybe a quarter of an inch away from my spine. That's another thing I, I like about maybe uh, not binding my signatures in first. I can get a little closer over here then. Okay, so there's my first tag. And then this one here is gonna go all the way to the edge. And then I thought about this, but then I didn't do it. I thought about just gluing this here and then having another little tag spot here, you know, like gluing it like this. And then you could have another little tuck there, but I didn't do that on the first one. So I'm not gonna do that on this one then either. So let me mark here, I just wanna mark where I can glue. Okay. So there's where I'm gonna glue. But yeah, I thought it would be cool if you didn't glue this whole thing down like I am doing now and left this open for another tiny little tuck in there. Okay, so now I wanna glue this. I always gotta constantly check. I'm always afraid I'm gonna glue the wrong edge. So let's glue this down. And that'll fit right on top there. And I'm not actually gonna sew these. This is a no sew project. Okay. So now I'm gonna go back and kind of erase my little light pencil mark in here. So you can't see that. Okay. And this, I'm, I'm trying to go all the way to the bottom of the page here. So I'm trying to get as close as I can to the bottom. And then you can see I'm trying to stay away from my spine because we are gonna have to, it's gonna have to be bound in there yet. And then almost to the edge. It's pretty close to the edge. Okay, so that's the pocket. And what I'm going to do to embellish that, I just took these cute little, um, like they're like the sepia, sepia pictures out of, I'm using this um, Edith Holden book, the Edwardian Lady one. And they have these type pictures in them, like those little, they're just like the, the brown colored pictures, you know which I thought were kind of cool on this cream colored paper. So that's what I've cut out. I just cut a little square out of those and picked a few little cute pictures. And then I've just inked around it and I am gonna glue that as my little embellishment onto my tags here. Although, what did I do on the other one? I did, I did that faux stitching. I think I wanna do that first. Yeah, see, I forget what I'm doing. Where's my faux stitching? Yes. Okay, so see here, I did just the little faux stitching around. I'm going to do that first before I stick on my little picture. So, And you don't have to do this. This I think because I'm not actually sewing, I just think it's kind of cute to always have the little edges around there. Just something else interesting to look at. But yeah, I found, I found this cover, the placemat. Um, right around Easter time, you know, when everything in Joanne's was like on 70% on cl off clearance. And I thought the colors were so pretty in it and it didn't really look to me. I don't think it looks Eastery. I think it just looks really, you know, summery and it's got the cute little bunny on it. But then I found this paper pack because I thought, what am I going to do to decorate this? Because the pretty peaches and the, uh, the greens and stuff, so pretty, but 
Then I found this paper pack and I couldn't believe how well this paper pack matched these peaches. I love the peach color. There's a lot of that enclosed too right now. I see a lot of that peach color for summer. So I didn't really feel like this was too much of a just a spring or an Easter journal. This to me was just a pretty summery journal almost. Actually, it could just be a nature journal because it's very pretty colors. Okay, so this is the super exciting part. There you go, watching me do that. Okay, now let's get our little picture on here. And there's not much to these really. They're really just using up your scrap pieces from your, uh, from your cutoffs of the signatures. Because that's the worst part. When you make like a journal out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper, you end up with all these off cuts that you got to use up somehow. Okay, so here's my tag, and I've made my tags coordinate with the opposite page there. That's just aesthetics for me. So now I'm using these cute little pictures. These are the cutest pictures. They are out of this book. This book is Psalms and Proverbs. It's um, an Alice in Bible Land storybook. I got this, I think, I don't even know where I got this. I think I got it at a thrift store, but I could have gotten it um, out of one of my kids' bookshelves. But anyway, the the pictures in it are so cute. Like this little girl is just so cute in these pictures. So and the colors, the colors match really pretty too. So those are the pictures I'm going to be using on my tag here. So I've cut out a picture. Um... From the book and then these just little these little flowers were on the book page too so i was going to use these as just my little accents if i can get them all yeah kind of like that and then i'll trim this down but yeah i thought these pictures were so cute in here and this journal is very it's a very soft looking journal. The color is very soft, nothing very grungy or harsh about it. It's just a super light journal, which I kind of really like. I just got finished with that, uh, the, the story journal, the Elizabeth one. That was super, super grungy. And then to go to this one, which is very light and airy feeling. But that's what keeps me fresh. I mean, I got to keep changing up my, what I'm looking at. Otherwise I get, I don't know, I, I get really uncreative looking at the same things all the time. I've got to, my, my brain has to focus on other colors and pictures and styles. Otherwise I just, you know, I lose my creativity, I think. Okay, so there's a cute little picture there. And now my pictures I just cut out. I didn't try to fit them to size, so now I'm just going to go back and cut them down to match this tag size. And I didn't do a super fussy cut, if you saw, I kind of just did a, a half fussy cut. Fussy cutting is not my, my favorite thing, but even when you cut it off there, it still looks cute. Just to cut off some of that picture, but yeah, super cute. And I was thinking about maybe putting a word or something down here, but I didn't get that far. Um, but there we go. I mean, that's what that's what it's going to look like in the journal. So let's do the last one here. So then we got, let's see, got this one. Then this, oh, I did put a piece of lace at the top of that one, didn't I? Okay, let me grab a piece of lace. Where's my lace? I was using this one. Okay. Yeah, so this journal here is going to be very, very, uh, I don't know what other weather to use other than soft. You know, it's going to be a very soft feeling journal. Okay, so I'm just going to do this little piece up here. The top. And I am going to go back. I will use my Fabrifix for these. I, I tend to keep using my Fabrifix for the lace and and fabrics. I'm just, I haven't been using it on paper anymore. Because I find that the, the other, the tacky glues are working just fine for that. But I 
still like my Fabrifix for these little pieces of lace and whatnot. Okay, so there we go. So there's our little tag, and we're gonna let that dry. Kind of don't want that to curl up on me. Okay, and then let's move this out of the way. Let's do our last one here. So then I was going to do this page here, and I've got my pieces ready. So here is my two small tags. Oh, and by the way, I this is not my idea. This is, um, I got this idea from Stephanie at Coffee Paper Scissors, which she does a lot of really cute uh, journals and she uses a lot of scrapbook paper. So I've been watching some of her ideas because she does use um, like paper packs. And sometimes, you know, I think it's hard to, you feel like you're mixing patterns. Like look, you got like five different patterns all on this page. And you feel like, okay, well, the paper pack is coordinated. They're all supposed to go together. But I know a lot of people have trouble trying to match, you know. And it was kind of difficult trying to pull out the right colors and whatnot. But she does a lot of these uh, scrapbook um, pages in her journals. And she always matches colors, you know. And her ideas are really cute. So she has a series called po Pocket Wednesday. Yeah, Pocket Wednesday. And so this is one of her Pocket Wednesday ideas. So if you want to see her version, it's pretty much exactly the same as what I'm doing here. I, I didn't really make any variations. My variation was going to be to, to make this spot another tuck spot. But like I said, I completely forgot to do that when I did the first one. But that was going to be my only variation to how she did hers. Otherwise, it's exactly the same as how she did hers. But yeah, she's really, she's really good. Very, uh... Very thorough. I love watching her. Okay, so here we go. So yeah, I wanted to do something different again. And uh, not do, you know, like the, just the regular pages made out of coffee dyed paper. Because that's normally what I do. So I thought, why not do a whole one out of this like double sided paper pack just so happened to match the fabric I was using perfectly so gotta love that okay so here's the fun part again speed this up or watch me draw my little road lines but yeah super easy super cute I think I will be taking a lot of my inspiration for this journal from Stephanie um, because she does do such cute uh, scrapbook paper ideas. Not that I have to have a scrapbook paper idea to do a scrapbook paper, but that's just, that's where I've been watching a lot of videos lately. You know, I get hooked on one person for an idea and then I kind of just get stuck there for a while. So, hope everybody's having a great summer so far it's been super super hot here like almost too hot to go outside and do anything unless you're in a pool I don't want to go out and even water the flowers until it's later in the evening because it's just too hot okay this one here I got a cute little it's a little bird nest aren't they cute see the little birdies in there we're gonna put that one on here and really, I don't think there's, what's in this paper pack? The bicycles, the doves. There's not too many actual um, picture pictures. A lot of it's just like this florally stuff. So that's why I kind of thought like the little, the little girl and her floral stuff was kind of pretty. Okay, so I'm missing... One of my little papers. Oh, jeez, man. Who knows where that went? I'm missing one of my little end flowers. Oh, are you over here? Oh, there you are. You disappeared from me. Okay. So this one here has a really pretty sunset, which I thought those 
colors were super pretty with the peaches. They kind of match like the peaches. And her little blue dress matches the blue. It's just so cute. Okay. Probably shouldn't have glued the edges, but oh well. Okay. So some of it kind of sticks off, some of it kind of sticks on. And then my little end pieces down here. Like I said, I think I might put a word on there, but I have not decided what I want to do yet. And I didn't have anything ready for that yet, so. We'll see what comes of that. I was just lucky to have all this prepared ahead of time, you know? I had my tags cut out ahead of time. My focal images cut out. I thought I was doing pretty good already. Okay, now this one here... Since this uh, scrapbook paper is a little bit busy and I don't think you're going to be able to write on that gold foil very well, we might want to back that. So I'll probably put a piece of... Uh, I've got a whole bunch of that uh, vintage ledger. I might put a piece over that so you can actually write on this tag then. Um, same thing with this one. This one I think is okay. This one has a lighter colored. Yeah, that one's blue. So that one you could actually write on, but to make them all three the same, I might just line them all with some of that uh, vintage ledger paper, that lined ledger paper. Okay, so let's put our little piece of lace up here, and then that's pretty much our project for today. But really cute looking. I love these. So yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna keep on with this journal. We'll keep decorating this journal together. So hopefully, if you're looking for some page layout ideas for your journal using some scrapbook paper, hopefully you can get some ideas from um, from this video and we'll continue making our cute, oh, look how cute that looks. See, that's so pretty. You can see the, see the picture above there. Oh, I am just, this is just too cute. Love this. So there's signature number one, signature number two. Here you go. So there you are. Oh, so cute. And then signature number three is here. And there she is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll continue on with this um, journal on the next one. Have a great day. Bye.